Betty Davis spent a couple of weeks in our area making a TV movie. Check her out. Here she was, this living legend of motion pictures, melting her max factor in blazing heat at Rockwall Airport. Yeah. But pro that she is, she never complained. Cut. Okay. Yeah. Cutting. A couple more. Okay. Her press conference, however, was a different matter. The 72-year-old Academy Award winner called all the shots, and woe to the photographers who came too close. Nostril shots out. <laughs> you know them all, right? <laughs> no, I don't know everything, but I know about nostril shots and they're evil. The <laughs> no, 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 uh, that's close. Evil. Evil. Betty Davis makes the rules for photos because she is very animated when she talks. And she says editors always print pictures with her mouth open and her arms flailing like a madwoman. But for our TV interview, she set no rules. It has been said, of course, that had Jack Warner secured the rights to Gone with the Wind, that you, beyond doubt, would have been... Well, he did have the rights, and he bought it for me. And that was when I had all the bad directors and all the bad scripts, and I decided to leave Warner's. And he sent for me at the last minute and said, please don't go, Betty. I've just optioned the most marvelous book for you, Gone with the Wind. And I said, I'll bet it's a pip. Walked out of the office. And then I was asked to play it later with Errol Flynn. Mr. Selznick wanted to borrow Mr. Flynn and me, but he was not right for Rhett Butler, and I wouldn't have done it with him. It was only one Clark Gable at that time to play Rhett Butler, I felt. Did you feel bitterly disappointed that you didn't play? No, I had Jezebel to play. Very much the same woman. Not in this famous a book, but Mr. Wyler made a beautiful film of that. And as a matter of fact, Mr. Selznick called Warner and he was furious that we had done that and gotten it out first. Although that was not the, the motive or the incentive because they had bought Jezebel a long time before. No, no. Did you as part of a historical Hollywood, of course it would have been wonderful to have done it. There's no question about it. But at the time, no, I, I didn't feel that way. Did you ever turn one down when, you know, five days later you were just kicking yourself all over the place? Well, not for, I turned down Goodbye Little Sheba when Mr. Wallace asked me to play it because I felt it was totally a difficult part for me. I, I, I felt that if I played, uh, uh, wasn't it Goodbye Little Sheba, yes. I, I felt that drunken husband would have been out of the house inside about one week. <laughs> because there are certain things in a personality one cannot disguise. And uh, playing a very sort of fay, which Booth did so brilliantly, I didn't feel was right for me. I was sorry I didn't do that. Miss Davis, in the years I have been interviewing actors and actresses, I would venture to say 95% of them have told me, oh, I am basically shy. I want to know, are you basically shy? Well, now, let's put it this way. One can be shy personally, but I don't really understand it because if all the professions to go into where shyness is not a requisite, <laughs> it is becoming an actress. So I sort of... I think sometimes it's a cop-out, a little bit of a cop-out. Uh, I was never shy from the day I was born, so I never had that problem. I can be uncomfortable socially or whatever, but that, but that is not being shy. That is, that is a question of uh, security. No, I, I can't understand a shy actor. <laughs>